Hi, thanks for joining me again. I'm Stephen Cronin, stephencronin.com. Um, thought today I'd paint like a just a, like a little countryside scene. A few little buildings I've scraped out here in this middle ground area. Just try and, try and create some sort of interest. A few darks in the foreground there, so I'll create a nice sense of light and a bit of depth in it. So. Um, just a quick mention of uh, Patreon, you'll see the links in the description if you want to see more videos over on there. So, before I show you how I did this painting, let's have a quick look at the colours. So, the colours we have Ultramarine, Cad Yellow, Payne's Grey, Lizard and Crimson, Raw Sienna, Burnt Umber, Light Red. I'll be using the large Ron Ranson Hake and 15 by 11 Fabriano watercolour paper. Right, let's kick off with clear water and then I'll just get a clear whack of colour on there. So I'm going to start off with a bit of raw sienna, just slap it on in the brush and give it all some marine. Cad yellow there. Just sort of experimenting with the just trying to get all the colours down first roughly and then take it from there so just see what happens. And then back up to some that raw sienna, ultramarine. Just try this light now a little bit. Distant now, quite a high horizon line this one. That one's quite high up, right up there. And just below that, a little bit stronger. Something like that. Front of that, a few little trees here and there, and what I'll do, I'll get the card out in a minute and just scrape in a few details. Just using the corner of the brush, these are trees right, right far away. Getting something I can scrape against, really. I'm just finding a. We've got a building. Something like that. Something over there. Again. Down a minute. Paper stretched a little bit, so I'm just going to pull it tight here against the board, and then before the paper dries, I'll just try and whack in a little bit more. Just clean the brush. And I'm just going to go just cad yellow, that's a nice light colour. Let's just go right up to that. Had yellow on it, so push that up there. And there I'm just going to use a bit of uh, the back, a bit of ultramarine. Switch it to a, just a flat brush. 
bit of burnt umber, not so much green, and again, just looking for some just random details here in the foreground. See if we can not these are little posts or something or other. Don't want to scrape too much, so we've already scraped stuff out there. I'll tell you what I do need. Something in this foreground. I'm going back. A bit of light red, ultramarine. Red umber. Back to this brush. I'm just looking for random, just experimenting really with random shapes and patterns. Some, I'm trying to get some dollops on there if I can. I'm mentioning really, I'm sticking the card, I'm sticking a bit of paint off it, I'm just seeing what I can sort of effects I can get. I might as if I've just gone slightly over the top with that one. And what I'll do is just evaluate this at the end and see, see what I've got. Let's make sure it's flat. in there, back to the height brush, bit of brown, bit of blue. I'm just going to stick it. Some things up there. Okay. Just, just trying to get the hair back together. Brush it down a little bit wild, so I just put the, the brush into the water just to bring those hairs back together. And again, just going blue. Bit of green in there, yellow rather, just to make a really rich green. Is that mix there? Something down there as well. Go back to this brush here. This is where I'd use, if I had thick paint on the palette, this is where I'd probably try it now. Just looking for just random effects in the foreground. I can't get a chisel edge with my height brush, so I want to just try and just try this uh, flat brush just to try and level that out there on that, that horizon line. I'm just going Just 
throw that a little bit. I've probably used a height brush for this, this bit here now. I just, I just cannot get, I need to get a new height brush. I can't get a sharp edge with it. I'm just switching to this, to my flat brush here. Just three quarter inch flat brush, just to try and get those sharp edges. It's due to a bit of burnt umber, ultramarine. And I'm just dotting around, it's got little bits of mud and things growing in the distance back into that yeah, yellow. Just trying to get some slightly darker tones in in the foreground. I'm just giving brown, a bit of blue. Just darken this a little bit slightly. If I've had a little little figure in there somewhere. the little bit of detail there. That's it I think. Little bird up there. I think I'm gonna call that all finished so I'll just, just sign it down in the corner. Right, let's see what that looks like with a main on it. This is the painting in the mount, so if we go and have a closer look at it. So it started off with a very simple ultramarine sky, and then we've got just about see a distant land, sort of hills, 
there another one just slightly lower down behind the tree line and then these trees down here put in a little, a little bit darker just so I could scrape in first that building there then I sort of put a darker section in and then I could scrape in a whole variety of, of things got a roof there a few more random looking buildings not quite sure what they are but just little uh, bits of detail to give the eye something to look at I then use the uh, the flat brush just to brush out some of this um, the paint that was underneath just to lift that line up just to, so, so narrow narrow the building and those trees a little better make it just to improve it slightly um, and a few dots here with the paint that I took off the brushes I was lifting that up there just to suggest a bit a little bit of texture there in that in that middle ground section a few random brush marks here in the foreground um, sort, of, sort of abstract detail really um, a few more things going on here just put them in deliberately dark to contrast against the light of middle ground there and the light in the sky area to try and uh, just to create more of a sense of light and then our little man and dog there walking off towards those buildings well I hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching um, don't forget to keep practicing. Any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, don't forget to uh, take a look at my Patreon page if you're interested in seeing more videos. So keep practicing. Very best of luck, and I'll see you again soon.